this sculpture's tutorial, I'm going to try to demonstrate a technique to create a cylinder primitive in Sculptress. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drag around and go to the bottom or the top, whichever one you want to start with. I'm going to tap my F key to activate the flatten brush. Now I'm going to tap the F key again to enable lock plane and I'm going to use the airbrush the hot key for airbrush is A I'm going to make sure my brush size is large as I can get it let's see let's scroll use the middle mouse to scroll out just a little bit and I'm going to try to center my brush the best I can and then click and hold that should flatten that whole area out yep. <clears throat> now let's go to the top and once again I'm going to try to center my brush and maybe scroll out so my br the circumference of my brush is just about covering the whole the whole sphere and I'm going to click maybe a couple of times yeah well that looks pretty bad and it's not a great cylinder but it does work and uh, what I would do <clears throat> after I've done this to kinda clean it up I'd tap my F key again to deactivate the lock plane and I would just go in here and well that didn't work did it um, anyway go in here and try to clean this up by smoothing and you don't necessarily have to click and hold your uh, your brush you can just go in and tap a little bit I am using the mouse uh, I've got to where I use uh, my tablet quite a bit in uh, sculptors and then I'll probably go in here and pinch these edges uh, the best case scenario though is is uh, to create your your cylinder in a 3d application and import it but I just thought uh, somebody might could use this technique so anyway um, that's how you might uh, create a uh, cylinder in Sculptress uh, you could use it for a lot of things I know it's not perfect but but it uh, does work I could use it to start uh, maybe a torso or something anyway that's it for this tutorial uh, we'll be back uh, with more sculptress tutorials later thank you for watching